what was the most you've ever had on your roster? Oh, no, only like three or four. And these were all men you were like sleeping like, with at the same time. Yeah, sleeping with, going on dates with and stuff like that. I mean, I'm just gonna be super upfront. Like that's disgusting. No <laughs> offense. I'm not trying to like say that to be rude, but like it's the thought of being intimate with a woman who's like just had sex with yeah. another guy is repulsive. I wouldn't have like come straight from obviously oh, shagging thank, that's very nice of it's you. It's okay. You I would have showered a little okay, bit before. <laughs> Maybe like wash it out a would little bit. Would you use condoms or no? Yeah, that's a no. She wouldn't use condoms. <laughs> yeah, to me it's just but like... It's, it's different because like these cause guys what? I would be dating, they'd be doing the exact same. Yeah, it's... So like... That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and you don't want to be caught up like, oh my gosh, I really like this guy. Like you put all your eggs in one basket and you're not really liking them. And then they're like dating a whole other. So, but what, girls. okay. So what's the alternative? Just like, okay, I'm just going to fuck a bunch of dudes and just be dating a bunch of people at the same time. Like I, mean, I, I realize, I, I, I acknowledge that if you do the like dating one person at a time, like if that person breaks your heart, like it's going to hurt a lot more than... Like, oh, well, I've got three other girls I can fall back, or I got Gilly three other guys I, I get, I get that, but I think it's... Denim went from seven to one, found. Oh. The worst part is the man wouldn't know any different. <laughs> no, but like, I'm dating people who, who are sleeping around. Well, they're doing the same thing. Yeah, so it's, it's not like I, I'm doing them anyway. Yeah, I think, well, I think men should stop doing it, and I think women should stop doing it. But then, yeah, that's just agree to disagree. What do you mean agree to disagree? Well, that's just like your view. Because you, you like only take girls who, who would, you know, be with you. And I w if I'm doing this, I'd only date guys that are doing the same. And like, obviously these are only on like the first few, two or three dates. If I actually start to really like someone, I, so you're, why would I spend time with other men? You know. What so I'm wait, is your about? argument, is your position, well, I'm trying to protect myself from getting hurt so my solution to the potentiality of getting hurt where i like give all of my attention to one guy is to just fuck a bunch of men at the same time <laughs> as like a coping mechanism for potential I hurt don't think or it's rejection a coping mechanism it's just protecting your kind of, feelings that's cope your it's your, <laughs> your method for coping with well then i guess yeah yeah okay so then you don't end up like Look, I mean, I get, I, I totally acknowledge that's how a lot of people in the dating marketplace are moving, both men and women. They're dating multiple people, sleeping with multiple people. I mean, I think it's risky for your health, but I also just. I would not necessarily I would never, sleep like, with I would, all of them, if, but it's good to have comparison as well. Like here's here comparison. You mean when it comes to sex? Let me no, hammer, no, as in when it comes to dates. Like if you here, if you I'll go hammer on one the date. point. I'm gonna hammer the point home, even if like. If the most beautiful woman in the world wanted to just instantly have sex with me, but I knew she just had sex with another guy, I don't care how hot her body is, I don't care how hot she is, it's a no. I don't even, if you are engaged, if you're having sex with Derek other men, one donated I don't care how hot you are, it's a, it's a dunzo for and me. Find a real man. Yo, thank, yo, Derek, just do thank better. you, bro. STDs must not matter to you. How are you going to explain this when you get to the wall? What's the Do wall? better kings and stay true to the mission. Yeah, what's, the wall? what's the wall? The wall. The wall. The <laughs> wall. What's it? What's the saying? The wall never. I don't know. What is the wall? Well, I mean, if you were sleeping with these guys, and you said you're only going to date other performers or only marry another performer, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. What was? Well, we no. I, I. As long as someone's like happy, they know. Though. We looked up a stat and we found it. What was it? Uh, three years after star gets married. Oh, there's a 25% likelihood that a porn star will have a marriage that lasts three years. Yeah, I, I think a lot of porn stars come from trauma and come yeah. from broken families. And Absolutely. so they don't believe Absolutely. in marriage. Mm. But personally, in my case, I do. And yeah, and so that's... But should we encourage them to keep going down that path or help heal that pain and trauma with love, honor, respect, dignity, and help these women in whatever way that we need? Because some yeah. of these women are out there for money, some are out for fame, some are out for all types of things, and these serious abuse as children is very difficult. No, I agree. A lot of women who are need therapy, like mm. they are folks. Like obviously I talk to a lot of my colleagues 
and like the stories that they've been through is awful and very traumatic mm-hmm. and yeah just a lot of people in the industry are like that um, but a lot of people in the industry are happily married and have successful relationships as well and do it because they like the lifestyle they like they like sex they like partying they well, there's like always outliers it's a but. it's a much yeah. lesser percentage there is a stat that shows open marriages so people who are sleeping with people they're not married to the divorce rate is 92 percent 92 yeah because yeah, 92 percent so it's not a normal thing but i so, mean yes it's much it's much much lower i have a question for you of girls Mm -hmm. um does it ever get tired tiring like physically like for so much work do it after a day (laughs) like if i especially if it's like an actual like set Mm -hmm. after the day i'm exhausted i feel like i've run a marathon (laughs) the other day i was in vegas and i filmed so much um i i told my friend like oh my god like i think i pulled my like, yeah, I had worked it's so be really much, painful. Like, and I was just like mm. walking a little painful. funny. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, especially because all the guys in are huge, <laughs> and so like you can, especially if you're working day after day after day. Well, because yeah, it's not it, easy it can at be all. Really sore down mm-hmm. there, of course. Um, but yeah, so it can be like you know Tiring. when yeah yeah definitely. Do and when ever? you go to like a day when you're like really sore and you go to work and you're like okay. Just take it really slow to start off with because it's it hurts. Hmm. Do you ever find it like mentally exhausting, or do you think more just like physically exhausting? Definitely, yeah, mentally as well because like you're having to kind of act <laughs> most of hmm. the time. Um, A little bit of both, mostly yeah. physically for me. Yeah, and also like if if you're doing the like social media side of things like with all, yeah, all you know events, that mm-hmm. takes a lot and like mm-hmm. the hate you get and everything like behind that the social stigmas yeah. and just like everything that comes with it is really yeah. mentally exhausting mm-hmm. and it, it can be hard as well because like people will literally like I'm sure you guys get it DM you oh kill yourself like you're a waste of space mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you need to die basically and. It, yeah, I just, nice I to tend to ignore those. I try not to read the comments. I'll only read, like, the ones that, I'll, like, just skim through them. I'll only read the ones that I, that I want, like, from the people that I talk to. Because there yeah. is a lot of There's hate. There's a lot of There's a lot of bullying. hate. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Wait, did you, were you involved with Jason Love? Yeah. The guy who was, The who big got, black Oh, God. <laughs> this girl. This girl. Um... <laughs> Oh, you, you were just like been and like peeked <laughs> on my Twitter and then come back. <laughs> no, there was a super um, chat that came in about uh, yeah. he Jason Love was with Adam Twenty Two's wife, yes. yeah, yeah, Lena, who we've had we've had on the show. Um, but so you also you were with him too. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's actually really sweet. He's very gentle. He's, you know what? Yeah. For such a big guy, he's very gentle speaking. Like just, oh, he's like, that's good. I, well, like, when I worked with him, he was so like, let's do whatever you want. He was like super nice. Like just like, I want to do the positions you want to do. Whatever you want to do, it's all about you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he was really nice. But fucking hell, did he stretch that's... me out? 